I couldn't have say, said the words that Billy said any better. Uh, let's give Bill Gibbons a big hand. That was a good one. I'd like to, Bill, I'd like to express my condolences to Bob's family. Uh, I'm standing up here in front of you people and uh, I have uh, mixed emotions right now. Uh, a little sad, but when I really start to think about some of the things was, that were said, uh, in fact, I got a little bit of a thought about things when Dave started to bring up his comments. One about uh, the fact that uh, I wasn't such a good player at all because Bob always reminded me that I was the most overrated player in only process. <laughs> uh, I met Bob when he was 15 years old at Bob Cousy's camp. He loved Coos. As was already mentioned, Coos was his man. And in our day, Coos was the greatest player in basketball. There was nobody better. And he had this camp up in New Hampshire, in the boondocks, because you couldn't find that place, dirt roads and everything else. And he had me in charge of one of the dorms. And I had 20 students. He, they came from all over the country, these kids, to learn basketball from Bob Cousy. And he was seated right across from me. And this kid used to look at me and look at me and I say, I wonder where that kid is, yeah. or who he is. And if, what he was doing was waiting for me to put my foot in my shoe because he had put shaving cream in my shoe. <laughs> so when he did get me one day, I looked across at all the, pl the, the players in the room and I was just trying to get the expressions on their face. And he had this grin on his face and I knew it was him. <laughs> So I told the other counselors, take him in the woods, tie him to a tree, I don't care if he ever comes back. <laughs> but uh, I spent eight weeks with him that summer, and uh, we, we were trying to teach the game, and we learned a lot about basketball, all of us at that time. Who's had all the great players? from the Celtics, from the Knicks, up at, the, at his camp with Dumbledore. And as time went along, Bob became one of the great athletes here in Northboro. And uh, then he went on to Cushing, and he got into broadcasting. And one day he said to me, uh, would you be my guest? I'm doing a radio show out at Wear Mass. And one of the guests here today, Don Prohovich, that was his hometown. And I said, yeah, I'd be glad to do that. And from that time on, he had me on his radio and television shows. I remember we were doing a game in the Worcester Auditorium. And Holy Cross had a player named Jimmy Schnur. And Jimmy Schnur slid underneath the bench where we were doing the game from and to get a loose ball and he saved the ball. And Bob said, boy, Nurse, clean the floor up that time, Togo. You won't have to sweep it tonight. <laughs> so he always had a nice little remark, and I could tell you many, many stories about uh, uh, our relationship and how we got together and how we talked and things that happened. I think one of the great uh, stories is when he was inducted into the Holy Cross Hall of Fame and also inducted that night was Park Smith, our classmate, who had been a great benefactor to the college. I think maybe, and Ron Perry knows more about this than I do, over $40 million he gave the Holy Cross. And when Bob got up to, uh, to give his talk, Father Brooks, the president of the Holy Cross, was seated in the audience and he said, Father Brooks, you know, I know that uh, Park has done a lot for the college, but and he started to tell him all the things that he had done in his own inimitable way. Who would you take, Father Brooks, me or Park? Father Brooks made no hesitation. I'll take Park. <laughs> and what was good about that is the fact that uh, everybody got a kick out of that one. 
But as time went along, and we would see and meet at, well, the athletic office, the media's office, uh, the heart center, uh, in our trips up the Holy Cross, Bob and I started to get in these telephone conversations. And uh, I would listen to him, especially when he was doing the football games. And uh, he was waiting for me to make a comment about how he thought I did on the game. He wouldn't ask me, he'd wait for my comments. So one day I told him, I said, you know, Bob, you don't know how to pronounce Polish names. And I said, you, saw, you, you said that kid's name, Robolewski, wrong every time. I said, I, you know, I was a teacher at uh, St. Mary's High School, and they called me up, some of the people there, and they said, if Bob Foraker doesn't learn how to say Polish names, we're not going to listen to any more of the games. <laughs> but then uh, he would... Uh, talked to me, and he always had a, a few of his choice uh, uh, classic remarks to make. See, I, I referred to him as the Don Rickles of basketball, you know, because he knew exactly how to get to you. And But I was getting to him, too. Uh, whenever he had a little bit of a jive for me, I'd give him one back, and he enjoyed that. He got a big kick out of that. But then, as time went along, and toward the later years, and especially in the last few years, uh, we talked about many things. And uh, one of the great uh, points that he brought out was uh, the great uh, influence his mother had on him as far as his, uh, his, uh, his faith, his religious uh, conviction. And he always talk to me in a religious way. He would say, Togo, the good Lord has you in his arms and he's holding you there and he's keeping you there and he's giving you hope and spirit. And then he'd wait for a moment and say, you know, I watched the Celtics play last night and you couldn't play today. <laughs> you were slow. In fact, you couldn't jump. You're the most overrated player in the <laughs> Very pleased to see so many of you here, his dear family. Great, great people from Holy Cross. Wow. Tom Kelleher, Gordy Lockdown, Ron Perry, uh, all of you that are here. Uh, that uh, meant so much to Bob. And uh, uh, it makes me uh, uh, think about how. What, what Holy Cross mean, meant to him, and what it means to all of us. It's just a special situation that there is. All I can say in closing is, Bob, I hope and pray that you are in our Lord's arms, that he's holding you close, and that you're with us today, enjoying every word that's being said. We love you, Bob, and we miss you. God bless.